Good morning, children. Today we will be doing Chapter Seven, the Temperate Grassland. Now, children, let us find where all do we have the temperate grassland. Let us see some pictures over here. Over here, the temperate grassland is. This is the zone of the temperate grassland. The red portion, which is marked. Where it is, it is above the equator. This is from the equator to the north is the temp, uh, northern temperate zone. From the equator to the south is the southern temperate zone. So the northern temperate zone lies on the trop, from the Tropic of Cancer to Arctic Circle. That is twenty three and a half degree north and sixty six and a half degree north. And from Tropic of Capricorn to Antarctic Circle. That is twenty three and a half degree south, and sixty six and a half degree south is the tropical, uh, the temperate zone, which is in in the southern part. Now let us see some more pictures of this. Where all do we find it? So this is the world map. Now here we have the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle. So the northern temperate zone, we are going to see. We have it over here. That is the North America. We have it in the South America. We have it in Africa, then Southern Africa, then Europe and Asia. We have, and also we have it in Australia. So this is the places where we have the temperate grasslands. Here the climate also differs. During the southern part of the temperature of the southern part of the temperate zone, it is moderate. But for the northern temperate zone, the temperature is different. The climate is different. It is to the extreme. Okay. Now let us go back to your chapter and let us study. Temperate grasslands are found in both the southern hemisphere and the northern hemisphere. In the northern hemisphere, they are spread across Asia, Europe, North America. In the southern hemisphere, they are found in South America, Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. Only continent which we don't find is the Antarctic continent. This portion we don't have any temperate grasslands. Okay. climate the climate sorry the climate the temperate grassland in the northern hemisphere experiences extreme hot and cold climate this continental type of climate is characterized by hot summers cold winters and little rainfall now children what is continental type of climate continental type of climate is extreme hot and cold climate this type of climate is characterized as very hot summers cold winters and little rainfall so you all can underline from here temperate grassland in uh, northern hemisphere experiences extreme hot and cold climate this continental type of climate is characterized by hot summers cold winters and little rainfall now we come to the southern hemisphere the grassland in the southern hemisphere are located along the sea coast and hence have a more moderate climate than the grasslands in the northern hemisphere the southern temperature grasslands temp sorry temperate grasslands are neither too hot nor too cold and get a sufficient amount of rainfall children as we have learnt earlier also the places which are near the water bodies they have a moderate climate okay and here also the southern hemisphere is located along the sea coast so that is the reason they are moderate whereas the northern hemisphere they are away from the sea and the ocean okay now let us see 
the vegetation and wildlife of the temperate grasslands. The vegetation in the temperate grasslands primarily includes tall and short grasses. Tall grasses grow in areas that receive heavy rainfall while short grasses grow in the areas that have a continental climate. Now children you can underline from here the vegetation in the temperate grasslands primarily includes tall and short grasses. Where does tall grasses grow? Tall grasses grow in the area that receives heavy rainfall while short grasses grow in the areas that have continental climate. Okay, so here we will see some pictures of this. Over here we have a clear vision of uh, the temperate grasslands. What, uh, what are the temperate glass, uh, grasslands called? Uh, they are named and where it is found. The prairies in the North America, the pampas in the southern uh, South America, in Africa, we have the savannas and the wells and the temperate uh, for uh, Russia and uh, in Russia, we have the steppe that is uh, Europe plus Asia. We have the steppes and in Australia, we have the downs. This is one picture children and let us see the harvest. This is a picture which says about the harvest. We will come to this part later on. Hmm. Okay. So, these are the vegetation which grow over there. Okay. So, let us read about the vegetation once again. Now, let us see. During autumn over here also you have a picture which says, which is showing brown grasses over here. During autumn, the grasses wither and turn into hay. Hay, we all know children, what is an hay? Okay, few, a few trees grow along the coast in the southern temperate grasslands. The grasslands in the temperate zone are inhabited by a variety of grazing animals and rodents. Now, there are animals and rodents. Children, let us see what are rodents. Rodents are the animals which have long tooth in front like rabbits. Here we have some two photographs of prairie dogs and pocket gophers. Okay, here you can see this is his tooth. Teeth, this is the upper teeth and this is the lower teeth. They have the, the two uh, teeth over here are long. Okay, and let us see what are bisons. Uh, these are more uh, pictures of the other animals which stay over there, which are found over there rather. Wolf. Badger. Quate. Black-footed ferret and fox. And we have a photograph of a bison over here in our book. See, it looks lo more like an yak, a bison. Okay. So, what kind of animals do we find? We find a lot of uh, many kinds of animals also. I think birds are there, uh, rodents are there. Let us see once again. The rodents are there. Then the other animals like wolves and quarte and uh, bad, bad girls are there. Okay, so let us see. Bisons are commonly found in the grasslands of North America and lions, elephants and antelopes are found in the grasslands. Now children, here are a few meanings. What is continental? What is rodent? 
you all have to go through these meanings okay okay founding the grasslands of south africa while in australia grasslands are home to koala bears kangaroos and wallabies wallabies are also like kangaroos they are grey in colour, they are also, they have a variety of colours, they are also a beige in colour but wallabies are more or less like kangaroos but they are shorter in height. Cattle are most important animals across all grasslands. Ok children, we will do life in the grasslands in the other part that is part 2. Till then, we will keep it till here. You all can go grow through the uh, things what we have learned. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.